Welcome to today's episode where we're here in Coral Springs and we're going to be meeting up with Derek and the Ross Brothers team. We're going to be talking about how they're taking this 80s style home to a modern masterpiece. So come inside and let's go check it out. We love this area just for the, you know, the large yards, quiet, you can ride bikes, go running, you know, lots of space. So we're excited that we can continue that here and also just with the effectively a new house. raising kids in this house and it's been our home you know obviously for for quite some time but uh yeah it's to see it from the theoretical or from the drawings and the renderings that the that they've done for us to actually seeing it you know in person um, that the change has been phenomenal hey derek how's it going hey adam thanks for coming out to see us today thanks for having us absolutely i'm really excited about talking about this today because a lot of South Florida can relate to this style home, but tell us what you're doing, how you're turning it into a modern masterpiece. Absolutely. Traditional 80s style house, everyone knows these houses. Um, interesting little project. We have the inside and the outside that we're doing. Okay. We, we looked for a contractor, somebody that could just kind of be a uh, consultant, a project leader, somebody that we could kind of just turn the project over to and help guide us and, and provide a, you know, a comprehensive, you know, partnering on, on our project uh, so you know found them and, and reached out to them and um, they've been a great you know partner I guess in this whole process we're changing the roof line in order to be able to pull the front door out six feet further so that we can give so, a little bit more room so inside. it's actually going to come all the way to here no, it's actually going to be right, right here right there where you see that inside board and then once we do that we're going to bring an awning over here and change the whole direction of the look of the house obviously you're going to take away all the red brick restuccoing the client didn't want their garage anymore here so we're closing this off and if you come around front, we're opening up a new garage uh, entrance over here, as well as we're going to be removing all of this uh, stamped concrete and coming in with brand new pavers. Kind of knew what we wanted, but we didn't really know exactly what, you know, what it would entail or, or really kind of the fine details of that. So um, partnering with them was great and, and the ability for them to to provide a rendering so it wasn't just theoretical. We could you know, look at a catalog or, or look through websites and figure out kind of what we liked and that conversation took place of you know the finishes and, and different design ideas. But then for them to take that and put it into you know a, a, a rendering that actually looks in our space and lets us see that um, was was great. It really you know helped us visualize where we we're going. And All right, so in here is where we push the door out. Okay. Obviously the original door was here, but when we built the pantry for the new kitchen, we had to move the air conditioning, so we had to build out that wall. In order not to come in here and immediately smack your face in the wall, we decided to push the door out, give them some more room. We obviously took down this wall as well. I think it Look, opens up the space really nice. This entry is going to be beautiful. I mean, just doing this little bit, moving it six feet out, makes a whole difference as far as what the entry and the feel of the entire home will be. But going into the, the centerpiece of the home, you know, obviously the kitchen is the heart of the home. Um, Absolutely. Tell us a little bit of what you have going on here. These cabinets look beautiful. I can't believe, I can't wait until the finished product, but tell us about what the layout is. Well, first of all, as you can see, it's a very open format, which yes. is what everybody wants. Uh, we wanted to make the living room area and the kitchen area obviously come to one. This is gonna be a, a one of a kind island. I did an extra little touch. I'm not going to say <laughs> what that is. At the end, you guys will see that. But you can see the, the quality of the cabinetry that we use is all three quarter inch maple hardwood. The best you can have as far as a box is concerned. And uh, we're very proud of the construction of how we do things. Of course, in here is going to be a lot of beautiful quartz, right. great cabinetry. And of course, the most important thing to any project, my dad told me when I was five years old, I didn't understand why he said it, son, lighting is everything. So in this job, we're concentrating on making sure that when we're done, not only is the house beautiful during the day, yeah. but I think even more importantly is at night because that's when people are really entertain their house. You right. don't have friends over during the day, you have them at night. And to be able to set the mood by using dimmer switches that are programmable, it really makes it a whole different type of living experience for a client. So Derek, opening up a kitchen, obviously it's beautiful, but tell me about it. What, what are the downsides? Well, always when you remove walls, you're probably removing cabinetry. Right. So, in this house, the client said to me, well, you know, we love the design, it looks great, but we're concerned we may not have enough cabinetry. Um, so we, you know, we, we thought about it for a little bit and we, we came up with the concept, I'll show you right over here. Um, there's an AC closet, or there used to be an AC closet. I said, what if we built you a beautiful pantry here? So if you look up here, you'll see the original ductwork. Oh, yeah. And if you look over here, you'll see the AC's been moved over to the other side. So basically what we came up with the concept is to build them 
a built-in pantry here. So they'll have the beautiful open kitchen, they'll have a pantry here, and as we spoke about before, beautiful barn door that will open and close. It'll be a, it'll it, be really And that's something that you do at the rendering process, so. Absolutely, so you know, the renderings gives you a couple things. It gives the client ability to look at the cabinetry, but we also show the cabinetry inside. So one of the things that people don't realize, and we do that from a technical point of view to make sure, hey, what pullouts do you want? What Lazy Susans do you want? What kind of spice racks? And a lot of times during that phase, people will look at it and go, wow, I don't know if that's enough. Where other, where other places can you find a storage? So show me how the AC worked as far as, so you bumped this out, you saw, you know, obviously it's gonna be too close to this, so you decided to push that out. This wall obviously was removed, but so show me as far as like looking at the perspective here. Um, so you just made this addition, you extended it out to this point. Right, it's like dominoes. It's like yeah. the first one falls, the rest of them go. All right, okay. exactly. All right, so I created a, a solution over there, but then I created another problem right, right here. Because you're gonna open up the door and smack into this wall, which nobody wants. Right. Uh, so in order to be able to do that, we built out a new closet, obviously brought it to here. And we decided to push the door over here so that we can have, when you walk in, there's plenty of room. And of course, we also remove this wall over here. I think you agree with me that this is a great open concept and uh, oh, fills their needs, right. fixes the problem that we have because you need air conditioning, right. but also at the same time opens up the entire space. No, it's going to be a beautiful transformation, but also it all comes down to working with the right person and the true expert. I want to tell you this, like the, the most important part about these jobs, and you know, I can't tell people enough, I know it sounds very self-serving, the amount of man hours goes into thinking about these projects. It's not just do a drawing, okay, let's get started. Right. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours goes into, does that make sense? Does this make sense? What about this? And during that beginning phase, the planning phase, uh, we spend probably three, four, 500 hours thinking about a project they're working with a client. And I think that's the difference between a Ross Brothers finish and everybody else's is the fact that we are really thinking about what has to go in in the inner workings of a project. We really relied on them to you know, provide us with the, the input of what their experience has shown and what works best in, in um, helping us you know, narrow some of those choices, which was great because you know, there's 5,000 colors of white. There's you know, thousands of different ca cabinet colors or, or you know, finishes. But knowing us and, and kind of having that conversations, we could narrow it down so it was great to then go to their you know their offices and say and have a you know they could provide us with you know three or four different choices and it was great as far as looking at everything and obviously the master bedroom you know that's you know, that's, that's the key that's to everything yeah. <laughs> so. and they, and the, I, I joke with the clients and uh, uh they were doing their bathroom but not the kids but uh, <laughs> right. and originally there was no lights in the kids room either then slowly but surely they even got high hats and lights <laughs> as well so. that's funny so stepping into here this is really this is a master suite yes. i mean you have direct access to the pool beautiful big space but walk me through this so here we're not doing that much except for lighting right uh, obviously new impact windows new doors new flooring new floors, new baseboards the bathroom is really the centerpiece of this room which is going to be absolutely amazing uh, I don't need to tell you, late 70s, early 80s bathroom. Lots of browns, lots of yellows. Maybe a little pink uh, and green or whatever else in there. Yeah. A lot of things that you don't want yeah. anymore. We started you know, doing the house, we saw the, the renderings for the kitchen and, and we started seeing what was gonna happen with the whole house. We quickly decided that we really need to look at the master bath and, and make that a part of this project. So um, you know, it was a quick call to, to the guys over there at Ross Brothers. Originally there was a wall here, there was a wall here. Obviously this terrible door is gonna be gone and we open up the whole space. So this whole thing is gonna be open now, one big room, as opposed to the wall that was here, as you can see here. And you can see there was another wall that was also here that bifurcated the bathroom. So yeah. this will be a double vanity. Oh, nice. Yeah, huge shower, uh, freestanding tub. And then over here, we're gonna build a beautiful cabinetry and the toilet. We actually had a bidet in the toilet, but we're gonna get rid of the bidet like most people are these days. It's amazing, because so many people, they're, they're sitting in their home, they're thinking about what their home could be. I mean, looking at a space like this, seeing that you can have a freestanding tub, a big shower, double vanity, toilet, I mean, it's an open space. Yeah, and it's not that big of a bathroom. Right, and no, people don't know, and that's why the key, I think that I've always told you, the key to our business, which is so much different than everybody else's is, Everything we do starts with a drawing. Right. You know, telling the client, if I, once you see the drawings and you go through it, I know I showed them to you, and you see the fish, they're gonna be exactly the same. And so a big part of our business is getting the client to understand what they can actually have. People right. walk into these old bathrooms and they look at these beautiful bathrooms and say, oh, that can never be my bathroom. Right. But it can be. I think somewhat, I think the team was great in kind of figuring out where finishes kind of were gonna be and kind of helping us understand, you know, the. The, the idea of a budget and where what we could do within that, um, 
and the rendering helped us, you know, again, just see, see what we were gonna um, ultimately, you know, get. Right. All right, Derek, so I know back in the 80s, this was luxury. But you, you, have, to, you have to tell me, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Everything. All right, okay. The good news is here, we're doing a whole new, uh, first we're doing is we're extending the, the deck out another seven or eight feet. That in itself will make a huge difference. Absolutely, 100%, give you a lot more room over here, it'll be great. We're also gonna extend a little bit more over here because they had a very narrow walkway around the pool. Right. So I'm only gonna be able to go out another, you know, two feet or so, but obviously it's a new fence. It's a new uh, finish, it's brand new coping, it's a new water line, it's a new finish for the pool, um, new tongue and groove in the ceiling over there. We're obviously gonna wrap these ugly metal poles and make yeah. them look beautiful. Uh, stucco work, paint, and of course, the new windows and doors are gonna finish everything off. Uh, gutters, roof, it'll be a whole new whole new exterior. We want this to feel luxurious. They're, they're putting money into their house, but the most important thing is, is to make that money be a good investment in the house, because right. to me, you know, as you know, my background is, is investments. And, um, you know, on top of the fact that I love to design houses and make dreams come a reality, I also like to make sure that what I'm doing makes sense for the value of the house. And so when we move things out here and give yourself more real estate and you give yourself more room here, obviously those things are going to be more uh, enjoyable for you as your family when you're here or the next family that comes in. With the Ross brothers, it was really about kind of taking ownership and saying, listen, we're going to do it right. We're going to um, really help with the whole design element and really that that the idea that t taking kind of that um, like the boutique approach. I like the idea that you know they were going to handle some of the you know all the different elements of the job and, and we could just rely on them and work with them directly. Derek, so looking at this project one month from now, where are we? We're getting near the the end of the inside, believe it or not. Obviously, the outside is going to take a little bit of time. Everyone knows the lead times for things are are. Right. are are driving us crazy. We're gonna wait for trusses, which would take one day to make for three months. So that'll delay some of the outside, but the inside, we're thinking in the next six weeks, we can actually be done with the inside of this project. Wow, that's incredible. So thank you all for joining us, Derek. Thank you for having us here today. Thank you, you know, guys. This is an incredible project, but please make sure, stay tuned for the next episode.